It's been called the example for the nation to follow when it comes to peaceful protest. More than 10,000 people marched through the streets of downtown Nashville yesterday, protesting the deaths of African Americans at the hands of police. And the idea all started with six girls, none older than 16. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb sat down with them tonight as they consider what's next. One day later, the 16s behind the movement that began here at Bicentennial say this park has forever changed. Just unity and change. When I yeah. see this, I just get, I just see it as a place where we're everybody, everybody came together. together. Everyone came together. Like where America was shown. Our streets. Our streets. How did yesterday's rally gather so much momentum in just a matter of days? They say it's because they speak the language of the next generation. Twitter. We're born. Twitter. We were born in the digital age. Yeah. We can do anything. Yeah. Just we all met on Twitter. We were all like, okay, let's do this. And then uh, Jade themed. Um, oh, I DM'd Z, Z, and then I told Emma Rose about it because we know each other. Yeah. And then we all got in a group chat, and then we were like, should we actually do this? And then we started planning it. But even while steeped in social media. These teens speak with wisdom well beyond their years. We don't want our little brothers and sisters to experience the racism that we experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we don't do something now, it will never change. And this group says they'll likely be organizing more protests. They say they want to hear from you. These protests may now be organized in all new ways, but these teens say it's to fight an injustice that's been around for decades. All the moms and dads of high schoolers right now in America, it shows that us as kids are still fighting for the same exact thing that you guys were fighting for if you did when you were kids. Like this shows that it, nothing has changed and we're still fighting for equal rights. Like there's literally no reason for us to still have to fight. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.